Hey there, guys. It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And um, I moved my lights and stuff and the camera set up and the ch chair's still over there but I got home late and I need, to, I need to film. I need to, to get what's on my mind out and just talk. Short vlog but I don't want to set up everything for And it's not you guys. It's no. It's today. It's been a pretty long day. Today's been really rainy today which hasn't really helped with the fact that my nose is super stuffed and I don't know if it's maybe I'm sick or if uh, I, I just allergies or or maybe it's stress. I don't know. Could be a lot of things. What was I gonna say? I ran out the door and didn't really think much about the weather at all. Was wearing the worst possible clothes. So, like, the only intelligent thing that I really did going out the door was grab a jacket because it was a little bit chilly and, and got an umbrella. Thank God I got an umbrella because I really need it. And, uh, yeah, today was mostly, like, a lot of, a lot of waiting around, you know? I, I, another class canceled today and just, just time. You know? I'm back and I'm tired and a little bit void of thoughts, I suppose. Maybe I think the biggest focus I'd like to talk about is the concept of sharing weight. Piggybacking, I guess, off of what I was talking about yesterday. It's just common courtesy and kindness while weight sharing. Believe it or not, it, it's kind of like that. Whether it be physical weight sharing or emotional weight sharing, there is a visible representation of either one of those. Uh, if you guys are, aren't familiar with what I'm talking about as far as weight sharing is concerned. Either physically, you pull on somebody and they have to pull the other direction so that way they don't topple over with you. Uh, but emotional can not involve touching at all. Uh, it can literally be the uh, space between two people and maybe you're both slowly closing the distance and the air between you two becomes electric and it's all playing in your face and your eyes and everything and that can become weight sharing. So. I also think that weight sharing can carry a connotation with it that suggests um, something more emotional along the lines of what you're feeling can also uh, spread to other people in a lot of cases. Like, I'm sure you, you're familiar with the concept of when somebody maybe is depressed or maybe when someone is extremely jovial and happy. They walk into a room and if you're more in tune with uh, sensing those kinds of things emotionally, you can feel it. Um, you, you might not even see it at first, but you just know something is different. And I'm sure there's probably tons of things that explain that, um, maybe scientifically why, you know, the way that our bodies do produce electrical charges that could maybe uh, affect the way the airflow is or different like little small skin things maybe we pick up on regardless it still is a thing that happens and as an actor it's important to analyze that uh, and see how i can use that to portray a better character on camera or on stage so what am i what's the bottom line what am i going for with this oh yeah just because uh, something is a workshop for acting and can be used or turned that way. I also feel that a lot of those things tend to have good uh, applications for daily life, for what we all call reality. Real life. Just every day. So your actions do influence others. Even if you believe that you're caught in your own world or you're stuck in your own bubble, the concept of even not making a choice is still making a choice. To do nothing is still a choice. So with that in mind, be aware of your body language. Uh, what are the subconscious things that you are saying to other people with the way that you're just behaving? Because you can still influence somebody and never say a word. And that can be a transfer of weight that maybe you're not aware of. But if you become more aware of it, then you could start using that to do more positive things like waving at somebody or smiling at somebody, holding the door open, or I don't know, little little things like that. Just being alert, being aware. Um, you'd be surprised how a lot of people can contribute to making an environment feel tense, just because uh, all the people in that environment 
are just acting tense, so there is tension in the air. That's probably why the first day of school for a lot of people sucks, because generally everybody showing up is tense and nervous and awkward, and we stick to things we know and people we know, and we don't branch out, and um, that's, that's why high school sucks for a lot of people, too. So yeah, so I'm just going to keep doing my thing the rest of this night. Edit this, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow, I should be able to just set things up and have a little more energy to fully commit to doing that. And, uh, yeah. Remember, life is a play, and the play is the thing. Bye-bye.